for appliance, uh, we have to take into consideration the condensate removal system um, as it is produced in the, in the uh, combustion process. So what we have on this unit is a built-in condensate um, collector uh, with a built-in neutralizer um, that can be changed and replaced during annual maintenance. Um, the other great feature about this condensate neutralizer is it can be piped to either side of the cabinet. Um, so if your drain happens to be on the right hand side, then you can drain it right here. If it happens to be on the left, of course, we can pull this out. It comes with a plug, undo the plug on this side, put it in this side, and move the drain over to the right, the, to the left hand side. Um, gives you some options when it comes to, to draining. Um, the other thing that we want to take into consideration is the proper pitch. So uh, it's about a quarter inch per foot, and if we're going to go um, a good distance with that vent, with that drain, then we may want to add an additional vent about halfway down the line. The other option for this unit is to pump the condensate out. If we don't have a floor drain or a drain anywhere in the area, um, condensate pumps are available through ACP and local suppliers um, that can be put onto this unit and just pump the condensate out. It is also very important that the condensate pipe remains unobstructed and it also remains uh, supported all the way down into the drain. You must take into consideration the type of piping when using to do the condensate drain. Uh, condensate is very acidic, so we recommend the use of PVC or, uh, or a nylon pipe. Um, the other thing to take into consideration is freezing conditions. Um, so the condensate, of course, if you're going to drain it or pump it outside, you want to take into consideration the freezing factor. Uh, you don't want the condensate to freeze and back the line up, it will shut the machine down.